redemption and realization. I've warned the both of you. And neither of you listen to me. Well whatever you say Queen Bee Bet, neither of us believe in you. You've almost destroyed us when Louis and yourself came to rescue Henrietta Bigel back on Louis Vlog 60. People don't watch this trash show you know. Well the viewers may not be a high number of people, but at least Louis tries his best when it comes to creating content. And anyways, series 4 is the final season of the show so after the current series ends, there'll be no more Louis vlogs from 2023 and beyond. Don't you agree Jonathan Jack? Jonathan Jack, why are you distracted? Oh girl, nothing crashing. Yes 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 I agree with you and your point of view too. So why didn't you answer me sooner? Are you, thinking about, betraying me? You better not Jonathan. How am I betraying you when I haven't done anything heroic? I hired you as you were harmless remember, do not, jump to conclusions, as you're likely wrong, and not the smartest person as I thought originally, I was just thinking about things. Well first of all, I am the smartest person you've met in your entire robotic life Jonathan Jack. People overlooked me especially my own family in India which I hated them so much that I hope my hero, Vladimir Putin, and yes the audience. You've heard me correctly, Vladimir Putin, will destroy India with my disgraceful family there and making them all dead. And secondly, what things were you thinking about Jonathan? You know you're not supposed to keep secrets from me. This is my spaceship crashing, I am your boss. You do what I say, and always let me be better than you. I was thinking about things that is none of your business crashing. If you do not like what you've been given to you, I'll throw you out of this spaceship, right now. Oh, you've just crossed my line. I can actually call Vladimir Putin right now and let him know that you said that Boris Johnson is coming to visit Russia to be the next president. I can do it right now on my technology which you've given to me. So actually, I'm betraying you so I can rule the world with my hero, my brother, my daddy, Vladimir Putin. <laughs> this is not the last time you've seen. Thank God for good riddance. Jonathan Jack. You've let Prashan Kanchin to die. Are you? Changing? Queen be best. I am changing as of right now. Being evil has brought me nothing but bad karma and a betrayer. And the alien and Rob Robot were my only friends as they helped me to come out of my suicidal feelings. I thought I knew best as I took charge of my former friends and that's how. I got carried away and started to become evil. I am very sorry for kidnapping you. Prashan said to me that if I kidnapped you, he would have tell me so many secrets of his personal own. But I knew before Prashant had his first night in my spaceship, that he was lying to me from the very start. So, am I forgiven from you? Well Jonathan, I am very surprised that not only you've let Prashant to die in space, but you also apologized to me for kidnapping me because of Prashant's silly idea. I do forgive you. But on one condition. And what's that then Queen Bee Beth? If you ever, and I mean, ever, do anything like this again to me or anyone, you, will, not, survive, my, next, fight. Do you read me? Yes Beth. I do read you, it's just a shame there's no way I can be fixed now. I've given my last broken parts to that backstabbing betrayer. Oh, very, Tom Riddle. And it's very oh very Tom Riddle indeed Jonathan Jack. You got a lot to explain Jonathan Jack. We are not joking. What's up? Who are you? Louis Teagle, hold on you two. You don't understand. Oh we do understand well Jonathan Jack. You're going down. Straight down the toilet. And it's called karma by the way. You should have thought about it before you made any regretful plans. Stop, you too. Queen Bee Beth? You've been... uncaged. Why are you protecting Jonathan Jack? He kidnapped you and caged you for days. It's time for karma at Jonathan. 
You have to ever that is don't know something. Good day to you all. My name is Lee Leeton. Here is today's main story. King Charles III has had his coronation in London on the 6th of May 2023. Some people were celebrating his honour. But some others were protesting and saying, not my king for many different reasons such as cost of living crisis issues and unfair lifestyles comparing to his royal family and millions of other people in the UK. Charles Triton. What do you have to say about King Charles III? Well Lilliton, King Charles III is just another royal family member to me. He may be special for British history, but he's nothing special to me as I have nothing to do with the royal family or King Charles III himself. He's probably secretly on party labor side. I don't know personally, and no, I'm not drunk, so don't even go there. But anyways, my more interesting news today is... London Bridge has once again been falling down thanks to the Big Bad Wolf. The police are investigating whenever it's the Big Bad Wolf from Shrek, or just a generic wolf from Nursery Rhymeland. The one from the tweenies. Speaking of tweenies, I saw Judy with Izzles not too long ago before today's broadcast, and she said to me, I think the Big Bad Wolf from Shrek has caused London Bridge to fall and down again. Judy from tweenies also mentioned that King Charles III. Gordon Ramsay, Sharon Osbourne, Simon Cowell, Lewis Walsh, Jeremy Kyle, Phil Mitchell, Alison Hammond, Chris Tarrant, Taylor Swift, Dominic Wood, Mike Milligan, Shifu, Stephen Universe, Donald Trump, Rowan Atkinson, Dipsy, Mike Flooded, and Paul Chuckle are all chasing after the big bad wolf from Shrek as he is in speculation of the cause of London's bridge falling down again. As much as I would like to say more, I'm now going to the chip shop with Arthur Pendragon from Shrek the Third, Tigress, Chef Hatchet, and Lala for dinner. Then going down to the local pub to catch up with Chris Jarvis, Alex Winters, Jensen Button, Mr. Stephen, Richard McCourt and Ralph Fiennes. Yes, the one who plays Lord Voldemort. And go on the slot machine to win money. Wish me the best of luck. Okay, Charles Triton. Don't go too crazy on the slot machine. And I don't know, but I think sometimes you make up stories to grab people's attention. I might have a word with Simon our boss to see if it's true that the big bad wolf from Shrek has blown London Bridge down. This has been your news ladies and gentlemen. This was Lee Leeton, at your service. Jack has changed. He's redeeming himself from being evil. Yeah, Queen Bee Beth is safe. And not just that, but Jonathan Jack is also changed. Now you're probably wondering, have I got anything to tell you lot apart from that? Let's go in the living room and let's chat. Come on. <sighs> Mining who's to tell you? Well, we saved Queen Bee Beth we have. We've actually got Jonathan Jack as well. He told me that he's changed because he remembered about Queen Bee Beth's advice. Uh, Pranshan Cashin? Pranshan Cashin? Pranshan Cashin. I do apologise for pronouncing that wrong. I'm sure going to expect savers. He died, he did, because Jonathan Jack decided to kick him out of his spaceship. Yeah, Queen Wasp Wendy has took Jonathan Jack. Um, she says he's going to take him for repairs. Uh, his spaceship will be left up there in space for now. So, until further notice, Queen Wasp Wendy is just going to take Jonathan Jack to a repairing place for a while. I don't know when they will be repaired, but she says it might take at least a year or so. 
Well, if I should tell I'm the alien rob robot about Jonathan Jack, what do you reckon? Maybe at some point. So, uh, I can tell you something interesting. I've been starting to collect these Karma's World Happy Meal toys. These are journal toys, these are. And you're probably thinking, what is Karma's this World? Ooh, this one's got a bit of grease. A little tongue riddle. That's only because I had small fries in my Happy Meal. And you're probably thinking, and before you even go there, you're nearly 24 and you buy Happy Meals? How old are you? That's for babies! No, it's not. Adults have Happy Meals as well, you know. Not just me. I bet you have Happy Meals and that's a guilty pleasure and this is probably you. Uh, don't bully me. Do you know why I've been getting Happy Meals? It's because it's cheaper, it is. I normally have four chicken nuggets, uh, they used to do carrot bags, but I've noticed on the card machine they actually do cucumber bags now, which is interesting. I wonder what happened to the carrot bags. Hmm. And I have been watching Karma's World, actually. I'll show you a closer look at this. This is Karma's brother, Keys. You know who he reminds me of? He reminds me of Cameron from Total Drama, Revenge of the Island. Similar look. The only difference is, is that Keys is smaller than Cameron. Um, Karma's World is really good it is, and you're probably going to be thinking, why? It's because Karma's World is it's a bit of a musical. I'm not a big fan of musicals, but... Karma's World is a bit educational as well, about difficult subjects, which is a nice taste. I like where a Netflix show, where they make it for like a kid's show, but it's not just for like, nothing like Dora the Explorer or um, possibly Paw Patrol, where they're like very likely for kids. And... Oh, here we go, the M's again. I'm trying to think, could you give me a chance? You're too much in the nori you are! I've only got one brain, what do you think I'm doing? Stop being so doom and gloom and grey and rain! I am so fed up appearing doom and gloom and grey and rain! That's really offensive, you know! When are you ever going to take a joke from me? I've been trying to entertain you for nearly four years with this show. If not, thirteen... Thirteen? No, for the last at least twelve years, you know, with my career. Jeez, when am I going to get my appreciation? Where's good karma? Hello? Bonjour? Can you join? Only joking. You probably think I've gone insane, but I haven't. Karma's World's really good, and I even... Oh, actually, I was going to save it for the next episode. What are you going to say? I'm not going to tell you until the next episode. You have to wait and see. Anything else I've got to tell you? Well... We say it couldn't be better. Jonathan Jack has redeemed himself. I've shown you a Karma's World merchandise and I've told you a little bit about Karma's World. I recommend it if you are a guy, a person, I nearly said a guy. Yeah, but that's for girls that is Karma's World. Males likes to watch girl shows as well, you know. You are a very strange demographic, I have to agree. You are a very strange bunch. I wonder if David Attenborough has done, done a documentary based on humans. No, he hasn't. Oh, am I kidding? What, what's up with you? Why is it every time I try to bring entertainment, you just keep insulting me and being on so ungrateful? What is it with you lot? Is it because Jonathan Jack is redeeming himself? Is that the case? Um, uh, maybe. You know, Jonathan Jack is not all that bad, you know, comparing to rotten reality. I encountered much worse in my life than Jonathan Jack. Maybe you don't know him a lot, but he's told me and Queen Was Wendy a lot today. But we didn't see that because you cut to the news. Well, I'm sorry I'm trying to bring a bit of quality to you lot. Ugh. I don't know what is it with you lot. 
I am so fed up of trying to bring happiness to you lot, and you're like, that's all I get from you lot. Jeez Louise, give me a break for once. Oh, they ever get a break. What are you laughing at? I can see you. Don't go, um, nothing. <clears throat> nice day, isn't it? No, I can see you. You'll wake the baby up. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, you know, it's giving me that glare. Charming. That's two minutes of my life I'll never get back, thanks to you. Only joking. Uh, anything else I've got to tell you? Hmm. I don't know. I'll tell you a little secret. Come with me. You're probably thinking, why I've come in here to tell you a secret? No, it's not my diary. I haven't wrote a diary in a long time. You probably think, what secret I am going to tell you? Let me just double check something. No. It's clear. You're probably thinking, if you're going to tell us a secret, why are we all going to know? You're just telling a secret to everybody. It makes zero sense. I'm just trying to bring a bit of variety on the show. What, what what do you think this is called? You know, the Stupid Lewis Show or something. I prefer that title. Lewis Slug has just been a nightmare to me ever since the first episode. You're nothing but a nightmare, you are. You're a nightmare audience. Anyway, before we go down that road, possibly for the 50th time... Oi! None of this... <laughs> oh, stop it, you silly little boy. Now what are you laughing at? I, I don't get it. You know me, then. No! I don't know either. Very strange. Get on with your secret. Oh, really? Some of them are on the wrong side of the bed. Again. This morning. Anyway... Uh, here is my secret. This is a Big the Cat figure. Well, why is it a secret? It doesn't sound much. Ah. But this is not the first or even the second one of these I've got. How many do you have? I'm going to let you guess on that one. You're probably thinking, why have I got more than two of these? Oh, I can't see any more than one. It's a secret. And that's because Big is possibly one of my all-time favourite characters. Shadow's better. Oh, stop debating about everything. What is this, the House of Parliament or something? You're not Rishi Sunak or Matt Hancock. Or that backstabbing betrayer Boris Johnson. Yeah, don't go, hey, Boris Johnson's my boyfriend. Don't you dare insult him. Since when you've been in a relationship with Boris Johnson? Really? Oh, very Tom Riddle. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I think the reason why I've got more than two of these is because big characters like Big is so rare to get a merchandise collection. To get rare merchandise. Sorry for mispronouncing that. Yeah, you're probably going to think, how many, are gonna, how many more I'm going to get? Um, possibly two more, maybe. Oh, don't tell me you've got at least 12 of them. I don't have 12, Big the Cats. Like I said, you're going to have to guess. And if you get it right, I might show you a surprise based on Lewis Dogs. And no, it's not me being naked, and it's not that. And no, I'm not going to show you my diary. I don't even have one. I'll let you know if you do give me the correct answer. So, yeah. Uh, have I got anything else? Can we just see Paul Paul's colleagues now? The sooner we see them, the better that you can go away. 
since you're extremely fed up of me, like you, you're, you're on more than ever, why don't you go and see what his colleagues are up to? You know what I'm so fed up, Meelin? What's that? These people are so ungrateful for Lewis. What am I supposed to do? Cancel the show? You're very encouraging. Oh, thanks. You're welcome. Watching you. Oh, I'm only kidding. It's not that funny. And? No, it's fine. Since you're going... <laughs> boring. Go and see Paul's colleagues then. I might see you next time. I have warned you a fair few times now. Bye bye, everybody. Bye bye. See you next time, or not. Why are they on Rotten Realities' side? I really don't know. I know you're still in there, so you may as well go and see Paul's colleagues. Go on, skedaddle. See you soon, or not. So you three, remember what we have just discussed recently. If any of you ever have a serious issue or a personal problem with someone or something else, you either, talk to me, Sarah Soft, or Natasha Pooley about your problems and situations. Keeping a personal problem secretly from me is a little bit unacceptable especially by the fact the situation was about Paul Perkinson and Alessandro Pipichiahau. We don't know what's going on at the moment with Paul but you three can't accuse others suspecting that someone in this apartment has got something to do with Paul's firing. You three are not getting told off or you're in trouble in the slightest. Danielle is just saying that it's important to let someone with leading responsibilities to find out important or serious facts and information rather than just not saying anything to her. Just in case you three didn't know, Danielle is the head manager for the meantime, while Paul Perkinson is currently missing from the public, and of course his firing that has happened only a few weeks ago. Do you three understand this advice? We truly understand this situation and our responsibility, Natasha and Danielle. We were just only trying to find Paul Perkinson and we don't know if Alessandro has got something to do with this case. I deeply apologize for being an act of selfishness, Danielle Maripop. We just didn't want to bother you around at that time as you got your own responsibilities to do and of course like Natasha just mentioned, you're currently in charge of all of us while Paul is away somewhere. I'll take all of this in for myself Danielle and Natasha. I learned to always let you know if there is something serious or important going on in this apartment or with someone we know ourselves. I apologize for not letting you know with our plan. We were just only trying to be superheroes ourselves and bring Paul Perkinson back here alive and fine. I completely get it of what you three were trying to do. But it is the police's responsibility to find Paul Perkinson and not yours. The police wouldn't want you or Rob or Andy trying to find Paul Hugh Jackson. I'm glad that we had this discussion and learned that it is always important to let me know any serious responsibilities that need sorting by me. Thank you for coming into the office, Hugh, Andy, and Rob. You three can go now. Man, Rob, I am still gutted and sad. First of all, Oliver Maple will owe and ruined our first few days of our new home, and now Paul Perkinson is missing out there somewhere, and he was the one who got us to live at this apartment, Rob Robot. I feel like there is absolutely nothing I do that ever makes anybody happy. Danny wasn't happy at all of me you and you Jackson for trying to find Paul and suspecting that Alessandro is behind on all of this. What can I do to make anyone happy Rob? Only you can be happy with me. You make others happy Andy, not just me. Your friendliness and honesty helps people out of not only getting to understand you better, but also their trust on you will build over time and you will be a friend to everybody nearly. Cheer up. Summer is not too far away now. Andy Alien? Rob Robot? Are you too okay? You look really sad Andy Alien. What's the matter? Talk to me and Beth. We would like to know. 
Daily Mail Talk wasn't too impressed with me, Rob Robot and Hugh Coxon because we made a plan without her notice as we were trying to find Paul Perkinson as he has been missing for the last few many days. Natasha was the first person to find out our plan and we had no choice other than to let Daniel know about our secret plan. I feel down as not only Daniel said it was a little bit unacceptable of the three of us for keeping a secret from her, but also I feel like I make nobody in life except for Rob Robot happy. I am useless, I am. Ah, uh, that's not true, Andy Alien. We're all useful in different things. I have doubts in myself sometimes, but that doesn't mean to say I'm useless. You should not ever say that to yourself. Your self-esteem is declining, Andy Alien. It's best if you come to the comfort room so me and Beth Bumblehug can cheer you up. Come on. Your self-love needs improving. Believe me. I need some cheering up to and the alien mate. You need comfort more than I do. Well, okay. It's something I never had a chance to use for my sadness before. Jonathan and Jack never had a comfort room unlike in this apartment. I hope you can cheer me up there, off. Trust me, Andy. I can cheer you up. Thank you, Louis Teagle, Queen V. Beth, and Queen Wasp Wendy, for understanding of my redemption change. From now on, I will help the good guys, and soon, I hope, I might find a way to make amends to Andy Alien and Rob Robot, even if it will take me time. I know I can make amends to my two former friends. <laughs>